and Bula, welcome to beautiful Fiji. I don't have a lot of equipment on the island, but that's no excuse because you can do beautiful workouts with your body weight only. So this is what we're going to do today. I run you through my workout. We will have fun, we will have a sweat and we will have a great time. The way it works is that we have 45 seconds on, 15 seconds transition time in between and every second round is kind of like an active recovery set which means like we're going to do the same exercise every second minute it will be high knees jog on the spot or whatever you want to do if you prefer knees to bum you can do that or if you feel like you need a proper recovery set you also could just walk on the spot okay so this will be every odd minute and then we alternate and mix it up with exercises for 45 seconds. I'm going to run you through the exercises as we go along so you don't have to think about it. You don't have to like um, remember anything. All you have to do is just focusing on yourself and giving me your 100% as we do the exercise. Does that make sense? I hope so. If not, it will make sense once we get into it. Do you not worry? That's what they tell me here on Fiji all the time. Don't worry, you're on holiday. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have eight exercises plus eight recovery exercises and we do two rounds. So we end up with a beautiful roughly 30 minute workout. Ooh, ooh. Are you ready for this? Let's start with a gentle warm up first, okay, before we get into it. So let's do a big, big step to the front, right leg to the front. Come down into your lunge, place your left hand down on the inside of your right foot. Bring that right elbow to the inside of your right ankle. And then from here, reach up. Inhale, exhale, coming back down on the inside of that leg. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, come back down. Two more. Inhale. Oh, getting the blood flow. Circulating. Beautiful. Switch your legs. Step that right leg back, left leg to the front. Right hand is now on the inside of that left foot. Bring that left elbow down to the inside. Inhale and exhale. Inhale to lengthen and exhale. Let's go for another two. One more. Inhale. Exhale, come back in. Beautiful. Step now that right foot to the front as well. Have your heels a little wider so you can sit between your heels. Use the elbows to press those knees apart and then wiggle from side to side. Slowly working, working into those groins, waking up the inner thighs, the hips. Wonderful. Then come back, come into a forward fold from here. Use your own body weight to lengthen the back side of your legs, your hamstrings, and also your spine. You can sway from side to side. And then soften your knees and round your way back up, standing nice and tall. Bring your arms over your head, interlace your fingers above your head. Press those palms up towards the sky, leaning into one side, pressing the hips the opposite side. Coming back, over to the other side. Back. One more round, leaning the first side, coming back, leaning over to the opposite side. Wonderful. Let your arms be super loose as you swing them around your own torso. You can pivot on your feet as well, so hips are not rigid, they are loose as well, bringing movement into your rotational um, level. Beautiful. Just another two and one. All right, we get into it. We start with our recovery set anyway, so we have no, a little more time to wake that body up. I'm going to start the timer for us. So it's high knees, jogging on the spot, or butt kicks, whatever you prefer. You can mix them up as well. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. That's our first exercise, and we will return back to this exercise on every odd minute to catch our breath, to hit a little bit of our cardio goal and then we get into the muscles and we're going to strengthen our muscles here. This is halfway of our first set. Beautiful, it's up to you how high you want to pull those knees. Obviously the higher, the more you will get out of it. So make it suitable for your own level. It's your workout. 
and you get it done in a way so it's challenging you but you can still enjoy it two one beautiful have a short rest and have a look next exercise will be a side lunge squat down on the outside leg pull it in come into knee drive i'm gonna let you know when it's half time and you swap leg get ready in three two one let's go to the side pull it in and up to the side pull it in and up yes that's the one beautiful so it is like a one-legged squat if you want so when you do that side lunge so make sure you really get all the way down and you give all of your weight into that lunging leg do one more rep on that side and that's already halfway let's switch sides beautiful so now it's the other leg that is doing the work so make sure you really squat down that's almost more important than the knee drive up to your chest Woo. almost there let's go for another three two last one well done let's get into active recovery you don't have to do the 15 second break transition break when we move into our active recovery of course you can but start whenever you feel ready for it Whew. wonderful we have our first exercise done already it means seven more to go home and then we to do two rounds of it but normally the second round is always a little bit easier because you kind of know what comes next what to expect you know how much longer so it always helps okay 15 more seconds here Whew. five four three two one and reset 15 seconds break for you squat come up bring the opposite elbow to the opposite knee <laughs> opposite you know what i mean left to right and right to left okay in between i want to see a deep squat let's go three two time is on let's go Woo. squat low pull that knee up so you touch your elbow with the knee by bringing that knee all the way up not so much other way around does that make sense so i don't want to see anything like this Woo. Woo. i want you to stay nice and tall bringing that knee all the way up and over and across I'm not holding my phone to my ear because I'm getting a phone call. <laughs> I just need the timer here. So we're not doing too long or too short intervals. Let's go for another 10. Fantastic. That's almost done. That's us almost done. And time. Good job. You know the next one already. Back to active recovery in five four three two one or you go straight away if you need some extra energy burn <laughs> i have a lot of energy because we hardly move here on fiji island we eat a lot of food we drink a lot of cocktails <laughs> so i better do those extra 15 seconds just to get that energy burned wonderful we have 15 more seconds and then i'm gonna show you exercise number three it's a tough one but we can manage we can do it give it another five four three two one have a look i have to put my phone back down for this one you have a burpee come up then do an ice skater jump to the other side do a burpee come up and swap over to the other side okay you're gonna go in two one burpee and big jump to the side burpee big jump to the side so listen with all those exercises you do you you do your own pace you don't have to sync up with me if you want to go faster go for it if you want to go slower totally fine if you want to modify and step instead of jumping either into the burpee or to the side that's totally fine you do you just remember you want to make 
It's challenging for you. Last five, four, three, two, one. But enjoyable at the same time. So in challenging, but enjoyable. All right, we're back to our active recovery. Start now or in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Whew. Sorry for my heavy breathing. I know when you wear a mic, it always sounds horrendous. I mean, I'm breathing heavy. <laughs> Again, a lot of food, a lot of margaritas. You might hear that, but I try my best to breathe a little less loud. <laughs> I know this can be a thing, right? Some people get really irritated by loud breathing. That would be me. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. All right, we're almost there. Let's go for another five, four, three, two, one. We're going to lie down on our backs. Legs on the floor, arms over your head. Crunch up, tap one toe, come back down. Crunch up, tap the other toe. Beautiful. Let's go in three, two, one. Lying down, coming up, tap down tap. I want you to come all the way up so it's not just head and shoulder plates. Everything goes off the floor to reach for those toes, okay? Also try to stay in the C curve. Press your lower back down into the floor when you reach for the floor behind your head, okay? I need you to work on those deep core muscles and that happens by having everything pressed downwards. We are almost there. Can you give me another 10 seconds? There's only one answer and it's, hell yeah, Mimi. Good. Let's go for the last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Good job. Five seconds. Active recovery. Three, two, one. Let's go for it. <laughs> all right like i said earlier if you feel like you have to mix up your active recovery you're more than welcome to do so it's active recovery called for a reason so make it work for you if you know it's okay maybe you were a bit too optimistic and went super super hardcore just take it back a little bit it's totally fine can bring it up again in the second round we have here another 15 seconds <sighs> Wonderful. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. Listen up. Second, next exercise. Lunging back, coming all the way up and kick that leg. You lunge back up in front of you. So it's the same side for 22 seconds. Ready? Steady. Let's go. Lunging back, kicking that foot up. Lunging back, kicking that foot up. Okay? <sighs> Wonderful. <sighs> That's it. Back knee drops all the way down to the ground. And then kick it out in front of you. Do one more rep on that side. And then switch sides. Other leg, tap it down, kick it up. <sighs> Wonderful. Looking sharp there. Keep them coming. So good. Let's go for another five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, I'm gonna take that 15 seconds break this time. Active recovery for you. Join in whenever you're ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Lift those knees. Get it. Get it, get it, get it. Nice. We have three more exercises left in our first round. And then we're going to move on to the next round. Sounds good? Sounds doable? Sounds exciting? I bet it does. <laughs> nice one. 10 seconds here. Maybe speed it up for those last 10.
it's five four three two one good job so you're going to start in a plank position from here lift your butt up like in a down dog touch the opposite chin and then come back into a plank and then swap arms okay get ready in five four three two one let's go bum up touch your chin come back into plank bum up back into plank so when you come back into your plank just make sure that your whole body is traveling that you end up with your shoulders being back on your wrists i need you to do this yes good Woo! this is 20 seconds in we are close this is halfway now come on you can do it for me do it for me if you can't do it for you stick with me don't bail on me now we are so close almost finished our first round and that's our sprint last five four three two and one fantastic oh we are back into our active recovery let's go you still have another five four three two one join when you're ready let's do it i love that little bit of praise i'm feeling here not so sure about my hair my hair doesn't like it too much i reckon but who even cares right that's our first 15 seconds done wonderful reminder to keep those knees nice and high if you do high knees reminder to keep those heels close to your butt if you do your butt kicks don't forget to breathe and then give me another 15 seconds come on so good 10 seconds to go hold it together i know you can come on don't let your lazy ego take over last three two one next exercise come low into a squat tuck your elbows to the inside of your knees they stay there butt goes down bump goes up down and up our elbows stay between our knees three two one let's go keep those elbows tucked in you're just pulsating the butt up and down up and down which should give you a beautiful quad burn if you don't feel it go faster like i said you don't have to stay in sync with me you can do your own speed here don't battle me okay i want you to push through those 45 seconds without any rest because i know you can i know it feels nasty because it's that lactate acid buildup, but i know you can push through that go past that point where it burns come on give me another 10 yes good last five four three two and one holy moly definitely going to use those 15 seconds this time shaking everything loose oh active recovery and then we have one more exercise in our first round and that's us already halfway done Woo all right active recovery here we come do your thing catch your breath if you have to take a sip of water it would be now i don't want you to step out when we do our exercises okay fantastic go get it last one you will love it nothing fancy nothing crazy it's essential we all need it especially our women maybe you know what it is you keep it traditional last 10 seconds five four three two and time it's push-ups you guessed right you can be on your toes you can be on your knees i want you to have the butt squeezed and the front of your hip open okay no bend no bum sticking out have it straight three two one let's find a pace a frequency you can maintain for those 45 seconds more or less okay so pace yourself if you know that 45 seconds is fairly long because you will get in like 15 or 20 reps and that seems a little bit too much for what you're able to, to do today then just do a little press and rest at the top and then go again so you keep on moving for the full 45 seconds does that make sense it's only 10 seconds left now i know you can do it come on 
Last five, four, three, two, one. Well done. No rest in between. You're going to go straight into our second round, but we start again with our active recovery, okay? So every exercise, one more time, and that's us done. Three, two, one. Let's go get it. Bring those knees up. Maybe you got a second win from knowing, okay, second round. I know what to expect. I know I got this, so I am able to put in even a little more, like 110% this time. Come on. I'm not saying that you didn't, that you haven't yet, but maybe something new unlocked, and you could put it on top of everything. This is halfway. Good work. Remember our first exercise? It was a side lunge with a knee drive. So we get mentally ready for that without losing the intensity in our active recovery. Good job. Last 10 seconds. You can do it. Five, four, three, two. All right, 15 seconds rest to get ready for it. It was a side lunge, loading that outside leg up and then bringing it in. Whew. Wonderful. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Step it out, reel it back in. Step it out, reel it back in. Good work. We want to have a decent speed, but you always want to focus on form first. So if you struggle to keep that form, when you move faster, then don't. Just don't. Keep it clean. This is halfway, guys. Switch over to the other side. Nice one. Let's get it. Beautiful. 10 more seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Active recovery. Get it. Whenever you're ready, I'll let you know when you have to start. It's in five, four, three, two, one. Join me if you haven't yet. Come on. Good work. Getting the heart right back down. Nice. Our next exercise was a squat with knee to elbow crossover when you stand up. We touch the elbow with our knee, not the other way around. So head stays lifted, chin stays level to the floor, okay? You can do it. Last 10 seconds here. Give it a good spin for the last five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Nice one. 10 seconds. Then we dig into our squat. You're gonna give it all. That's what we're here for, right? We made time to show up for ourselves. Ready? Let's do it. Squat, crossover. Squat, crossover. That's it. Now, second round through means you're more familiar with the movement, which also means you might be able to speed it up a little bit. If this is you, please go for it. Come on, demolish it. Yes. This is already halfway, everyone. So good. 15 seconds to go. Don't slow down now. Come on. Give it all. 10 seconds. Fantastic. Last five. Don't stop. Don't stop. Three, two, and one. Well done. Active recovery. Whenever you're ready, or in 10 seconds, I'll let you know. Five, four, three, two, one. Join me now if you haven't yet. Yeehaw! Get those knees up. I know I say it, right? And then look at me. And he's all the way down there. But I give my 100%, hey? And that's what it's all about. This is my knees up high. If you can bring them higher, Go for it. This is halfway. Come on. Push through another 20 to seconds. You got it. 15 seconds now. Looking good out there. 
I know you're doing your best and I love you for it. Five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic. Next one was burpee to a side hop into a burpee. You do your own pace. Maybe trying to get one more burpee and then in the first run, you go in five, four, three, two, time is on. 45 seconds. Everything you got. Hop. <coughs> Hop. Hop. By the way, sound effects help immensely. So if you want to shout with me, feel free to do so. It really helps. This is halfway, everyone. Ten seconds to go. Come on, two more burpees, two more burpees. And that's time. Woo! I'm gonna take my 15 seconds rest here. If you wanna start active recovery, please go for it. Three, two, one. All right, we are close, guys. So close now. I can smell. The finish line Woo, and it smells like victory <laughs> oh my god i talk a lot of bullshit don't i that's okay <laughs> the great thing is i'm not even alone here if you look around there are other people that's how low my tolerance for embarrassing embarrassment got <laughs> now it's all fine i love it i do it for you i do it for me let's go for another 10 Five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Check knife is our next exercise. So you're gonna lie down again on our back. When we start in eight seconds. Five, four, arms over your head, legs straight. Let's go right leg up. Touch your toes by lifting everything off the floor, off the ground. Try to keep that leg as straight as possible as you push through the reps. Good job. Remember your imprint position. Try not to arch into your back too much when you open those arms overhead. This is halfway, guys. Almost there. Come on. Push through it. So good, everyone. Keep them coming. Last five, four, three, two, and one. I got marinated in Lucky Charms here. No joke, it is really Lucky Charms. I feel so lucky. All right, five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's get it. Knees up high. Nice one. Our next exercise for our lunge was our lunge with a kick up in the air. So we work one side first and then we move up and over to the other side, okay? Good. 16 seconds into that one. Keep those legs moving. We're so close to the finish line. You can do it. Come on. 15 seconds. Last five, four, three, two, one. Okay, lunging back, kicking that same leg out in front of you, staying on the same side. We switch halfway. <sighs> Wonderful. Five, four, three, two. Let's go, lunge back and kick. Lunge back and kick. When you lunge back, make sure that back knee touches the floor. Shoulders stay on top of your hips. Beautiful. And then you get the most out of it. Find your balance. Have your core engaged. Brace your core to stay stable. Do one more round. And then switch your sides. That's it. Good work. Fantastic. 15 seconds to go.
Last five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Fantastic. Good news, three more exercises, okay? Plus active recovery. But that doesn't count because we have so much fun doing that. Three, two, one. Let's go get it. Good job. Nice one. Lift those knees. Dig in for another 30 seconds. I don't know. I don't care where you have to dig to, to find it. Just keep on digging. Keep on delivering. Come on. 15 seconds to go now. You know how to do it. Woo. Fantastic. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic. Have a 15 seconds rest. I'm going to look up. Our next exercise was our side plank. Whew, okay. Let's start in five, four, three, two. Come into your plank. Hook that bum up, touch the opposite shin with your hand. Remember, you want to return back into full plank, shoulders above your wrists, and your hips are as low as your shoulders without hanging those hips through. Brace your core as you move from A to B. Nice one. Fantastic. Let's go for another 15 seconds. 10 seconds to go. You got this. Come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic. Go. Two more exercises, but we do our active recovery first. Two more exercises. I love that for us. <laughs> and it's fun ones too. Okay, let's, let's get into our high knees in three, two, one, it's all yours. All right, my mic dropped out for some reason at that point, so I'm gonna cheer you from the far, but I'm still here to count you in, to count you out, and to be your best cheer squad. And as you can see, I still did it. I'm still suffering with you as well on the screen. It's just a little bit off. I couldn't lip sync myself, but that's okay. I hope you understand. You're halfway there. We're gonna need another 15 seconds now, high knees, and then we have two more exercises to complete. We finish on our active recovery. So two more exercises, two more active recovery. Finish strong here, another five, four, three, two, one, well done. Here's your 15 seconds rest, and then we're gonna start into our second last exercise. You know the drill, you've done it before. Let's get ready in five, four, three, two, one. Bring those elbows on the inside of your knees and then let's squat down. Keeping the arms tucked in nice and low as you sway that bum up and down, up and down. Enjoying and loving that quad burn that comes with it. I really loving it here. <laughs> it's that typical love hate, you know. It burns but it feels so good just to push through it and we're already halfway there. Give me another 20 seconds now. Don't even think about dropping out now. You came so far. We are almost at the finish line of this bloody workout. So you might as well just give it all. There's nothing else you have to do after that. So stay strong for another five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Shake those legs out. We have another active recovery coming soon in 10 seconds. One more exercise after that and then just one more active recovery which might turn into a sprint. All right, ready, steady, let's go. 45 seconds back on. Knees are gonna go up high, as high as they still can come after this workout. Use your arms as well. Try to get your breathing calm and steady. And most importantly, be proud of yourself. You came so far, you pushed through it. You're still having a great time. And that alone is a big, big achievement. So feel that achievement, feel that bright in you, helping you to find maybe another little boost of energy to push through another 15 seconds. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, one. Good job. 15 seconds rest. And then it's our last exercise. We're going to get into those push ups one last time. Take another deep breath in and we start in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Like in our first set, we want to find a pace we can maintain for the whole 45 seconds. So if that means you have to rest at the top for a second before you go into the next rep, please do it. I just want you to push through it without stopping, okay? Squeeze that butt, biggest muscles of our body. Even in our push-ups where we train bicep and chest, the bum, the glutes is still helping us to power through it. You're almost there now. It's another 15 seconds. Don't hold your breath, push and give me that last bit. You know, this is our last strength exercise. So this should give you a little bit of a win to really keep them coming for another five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All that's left now is our one minute or our 45 seconds of active recovery, okay? We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one one let's make the most out of that last one so maybe go even a little quicker than you did before because knowing that it's only the last set that is left might give you that extra boost come on bring those knees up 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 beautiful feel strong as you do it so you can take that feeling with you once that workout workout is finished we are halfway there it's another 25 seconds now not even come on you can do it maybe bring it up another notch pull those knees all the way up to your belly button and then countdown is on for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 yes and that's the whistle the finish whistle you did so well i definitely felt it i loved it it was definitely something but it just feels so good when you once you accomplished it and you should feel great about yourself too ah <sighs> thanks so much for pushing through that workout together with me wouldn't have done it without you I hope you had a great time and I hope to see you soon again. Bye bye.